All right. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Hope your day's off to a great start. We are going to have a great time together in scripture, in prayer. Good morning, Craig. Great to see you this morning. Jackie, great to see you this morning. And everyone that's, that's joining us, it looks like the Abrahams might be joining us this morning from Arizona. Great to see you guys. Monica, good morning. Everyone that's joining us today, this is a praying community. We, we gather together every day, Monday through Friday. This is day three of our prayer week. You are going to win the day because you're taking time to, to start your day in the Word of God, start your day in prayer, start your day focusing and centering your heart on the Lord this morning. You are going to win the day, and you are going to win the week. All you have to worry about, all you have to be concerned about is the next 16 hours. That's it. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about next week. Don't worry about a medical test coming up three days from now. Don't, don't worry about a, a court proceeding coming up in a week. You worry about the next 16 hours. Be concerned with that. Jesus said, don't worry about tomorrow. I've got the tomorrow. I've got the future. You just need to, to work through today and win the day. All right. Uh, today is officially, for those of you joining us, Require Excellence Wednesday. Today is officially Require Excellence Wednesday. Wednesday. We've been going through the book of Proverbs and talking about winning the day with wisdom, taking one or two nuggets from each chapter in the book of Proverbs. We started in chapter one. We are in chapter 22 today. Uh, we're going to work through this entire book. Uh, it is Wednesday, bro. Ben, what, what are you thinking, man? Come on. Get with it, my, my brother. It is Wednesday morning. Uh, there she is. Good morning, Jerry from Arizona. Good to see you this morning. All right, Pastor Jeff's going to get on his soapbox this morning and maybe give a little rant. I'm not sure, but get ready because this is something that's near and dear to Pastor uh, Jeff's heart. I'm, I'm, I'm going to share some things that, that are, are, I'm a little bit concerned about. All right, so here we go. Today is Require Excellence Wednesday. I, I believe we as a culture have lost the pursuit of excellence. I think we've lost the pursuit of excellence. We live in an age and an era of mediocrity. We're, we're often too lazy to strive for excellence in greatness in what we do. We've, we've lost the pursuit of excellence in character. We, 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 we pursue pleasure instead of character. Our, our reputation, who we are as people, is no, we no longer pursue excellence in that. We, we no longer pursue excellence in moral virtue. We, we live together before we're married. We have, we have sex outside of, of marriage. We're, we're dishonest. We abuse alcohol. We, we no longer care about excellent character, moral virtue. We've sort of lost that. We've, we've settled into some kind of, of mediocrity, the averageness in terms of character. There's very few people pursuing excellence in virtue excellence in character. We've lost the pursuit of excellence in the way we speak. We, we use profanity. We use poor grammar. We, we, we use slang way too much. We, we have a weak vocabulary. We, we, we don't try to learn and aspire to have a, a greater vocabulary and greater speech. We settle for mediocrity in that area. We, I, sports is near and dear to my heart, and we have lost the pursuit of excellence in terms of sportsmanship. There's no more sportsmanship in sports. We taunt one another. We, we, we trash talk each other. We demean our opponents. We, we run up the score. We, we make rude gestures and celebrations. We, in sports, we've become classless. Youth sports, the coaches are classless. It, there's no longer a pursuit of excellence in sportsmanship and honor in sports. We've lost the pursuit of excellence in terms of skills in the workplace. We want more pay, but less expertise. We, we, we're satisfied just getting by in life instead of pursuing excellence. We have businesses have very little excellence in customer service. Have you noticed that lately? They don't care that much about what you think. They don't care about their service to you, whether it's on time or, or excellent or it, it serves you well. They, they don't care that much anymore. They just try to get by. We, we lack excellence in manners and respect. We live in the age of mediocrity. We, we dummy everything down. We, we take little pride in our work. Little pride in our, in our accomplishments. Today is Require Excellence 
Wednesday. Let me read you what Solomon says about this in Proverbs 22, 29. Here's what Solomon says. Do you see a man skilled in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. Do you see a man or a woman skilled in what they do? That person will stand before kings, people of influence. They, they won't just stand before insignificant or obscure people. The word skill there means excellence. Do you see a, a person who has excellent skill, outstanding, magnificent, accomplished, distinctive, su superb, supreme, championship level, above others, they stand out. Do you see a person skilled in what they do? That's what that means. Excellent in what they do. Excellent nurses, excellent doctors, excellent construction people, excellent servers in restaurants, excellent teachers, excellent parents, excellent friends. Do, do you see someone skilled in what they do? What's the reward? They will have favor with people of influence, people that can, can move them ahead. They'll find favor. In fact, they will be sought out by influential people. If you are skilled in what you do, people will seek you out. You don't have to seek them out. They'll find you because they're looking for people of excellence. It, it means that the ability to influence people of significance or of means. You'll have the opportunity to influence people. You, you'll have an elevated platform to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. If you are excellent in what you do, it's going to bring you before people that you never would have been brought forward before. They're not looking for average people to serve them. They're not looking for, for mediocre people. They're looking for people of excellence. People of excellence look for people of excellence. And, and, and if you are, listen to what he says, do you see a man or a woman skilled in what they do? They'll stand before kings. They'll be put in prominent places. They'll aspire. They'll be elevated. They'll be promoted, right? That's the reward. So let me just encourage you this morning. Today, require excellence of yourself in everything that you do. Require excellence. Go the extra mile. Become better in what you do. Seek to be the best in what you do. Put in the hard work today. Now, not only require excellence in yourself, I'm going to ask you parents, Require excellence in your children. Don't let them get by with stuff. Don't let them get by with average character. Force them to aspire to excellent character. Excellence in schoolwork. Excellence in sports. Excellence in their spiritual life. Teach them how to pray. Teach them how to love God. Teach them how to seek God with all of their heart. Let, help them become excellent disciples of Jesus. Not just average not just mediocre. Don't let them live in the world of mediocrity. Force them. Require that they, that they lift themselves to a level of excellence. Amen? Come on, somebody. We allow our kids to do whatever they want. We allow them to, to just uh, fall back into a world that doesn't care. And friends, force them. Require them to have excellent manners, excellent speech, excellent study habits. Teach them how to be excellent spouses. Teach them how to be excellent of character. Come on, somebody. This is crucial. We, our society doesn't care about that anymore. But Solomon says if, if you find somebody that's excellent in what they do, they're going to be elevated. They're going to be promoted. They're going to be lifted up. They're going to be put in places that they never could have gotten if they were average in what they do. Come on. I, I, I aspire to be, a, to be an excellent, skilled pastor, an excellent skilled preacher. I'm constantly working on the craft. I'm constantly developing what I do, always trying to get better. Require excellence of your children this morning. Require excellence in the people that you lead today, in the workplace. Those people you're leading, don't let them get by today. Don't let them settle for, for mediocrity. Force them to do what they do well. Force them to do it right. Force them to do it with excellence. Force them to improve their skills in the workplace. Force them to have better character, to treat people better. Do you see a person skilled in what they do? They'll stand before kings. They're not going to be average. They're not going to be hanging around with average people. They're going to be elevated to a different place because of their excellence. Let me read you a couple more scriptures. Do you know what it says about Jesus in Mark chapter 7, verse 37? Let's read that together. Mark 7, 
37. They were talking about Jesus. They said, they were utterly astonished, saying, he has done everything well. What did they say about Jesus? He does everything well. Do they say that about you? Do they say that about your kids? Everything they do, they do it with excellence. Here's what Solomon said in the book of Ecclesiastes, in Ecclesiastes 9.10. He said this, whatever your hand finds to do, do it with excellence. Do it with all of your might. Pour yourself into it. Everything you do. If it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. Amen? Whatever, uh, Proverbs, uh, Ecclesiastes 9.10, whatever your hand finds to do, do it with excellence. One more scripture this morning, and this has been a, a life verse for me. Paul, talking to Timothy in 1 Timothy 4, 15 and 16, about the work of ministry. Paul says this to Timothy, take pains with these things. Be absorbed in them. Take pain with this. Teaching, leading, take pains with this. Be absorbed so that your progress will be evident to all. So that people will see that you're improving. People will see that you're getting better. Timothy was a young man. And Paul says, listen, pour yourself into this. Take pain with this. Be absorbed in it so that your progress is evident to all. Pay close attention to yourself and to your teaching. Persevere in these things. For as you do this, it will ensure salvation for you and for everyone that hears you. If you do it right, Timothy, you're going to see a harvest of souls. If you do it right, if you, if you absorb yourself in this work, if you seek excellence, if you develop your skills, if you pour yourself into the work of ministry, you are going to see people saved and your life is going to get better. Come on. This is Require Excellence Wednesday. All right. We're going to pray this morning, friends, that we wouldn't lower the standard. If, if everything Jesus did, he did with excellence. If everything Jesus did, he did well. Why are we doing anything less? Why do we let our kids do anything less? Why do we let the people we work with do anything less? Man, require a standard of excellence. Require a standard that's, that's way above mediocrity and averages. Don't let your kids be average. Don't let your kids be mediocre. Require that they aspire. Amen? I just made that up. Require that they aspire. Today's Require Excellence Wednesday. Let's pray this morning, friends. Lord, thank you this morning for your call on our lives to be like Christ, to do all things well, that whatever our hand finds to do today, we do it with all of our might, we do it with excellence, that, that Lord, we, we, we pour ourselves into things, we, we, we are absorbed with them so that our progress can be evident to people so that we're getting better in this stuff, God. Lord, we pray that we teach our children the value of excellence, we, we pray we teach them to have uh, high virtue, high character, a uh, 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 high desire to do what's right. Help us today, Lord, to teach those that we lead at work, to teach them the value of excellence. And then, Lord, today, help us to do everything we do, everything we do. When we speak, let it be with excellence. When we treat people, when we interact with people, let us treat them with excellence. Lord, when we, when we read your word, when we pray, when we address you, when we seek you, let us do it with all of our might. Let us do it with excellence. We pray, Lord, that people would recognize in us a pursuit and a drive to develop everything you've put in us, to, to utilize the gifts, to, to maximize our potential because you've created us with great potential. Help us to maximize that today, Lord, in Jesus' name. And everybody said, come on, everybody said, this is Require Excellence Wednesday, require excellence of your life, require excellence of your kids, and require excellence in those that you work with. Force them to aspire to a higher level today. It's going to be a great Wednesday. You're going to win the day, and you're going to win the week. We'll see you tomorrow morning.